Well, I wanted to share a feature in Canvas New Quizzes. Um, Canvas New Quizzes has something called regular expressions, which is available in their free response question types. And what regular expressions do is they allowed us to write some simple code that will handle many different types of entries that student might type into a quiz. So here is an example to look at. And the question says, what are the coordinates of the origin in the coordinate plane? And this is what the answer would look like in Canvas. It would be the single uh, quotes around parentheses, zero comma, zero parentheses. But if a student were to put a space anywhere in there, it would be marked wrong. So what I did instead was I used regular expressions. And the regular expressions we see start with this caret symbol that says, let the regular expression begin. And then we have our parentheses. We have this slash S, which stands for blank space. And then question mark saying that the question mark is saying that the blank space is optional. So if it's put in or if it's not put in, it'll be marked correct either way. And then the zero and then a blank space. And then here's the comma. Notice there's a slash before the comma. That's to say, treat this comma as a comma and not as code. And then another blank space question mark, the blank space is quite is optional, zero, and this would allow the student to enter, um, or different students to enter the answer many different ways. And this is what the code looks like. Again, the caret means the beginning of a regular expression, and the dollar sign with no slash means the end of a regular expression. If I had a dollar sign with a slash, it would just treat it as a dollar sign. So that slash is what we call an escape character. It escapes the code and lets you treat it as literal text. So I have here the markings for all of the code that was used for that zero comma zero entry. Again, the slash tells the system to, interp to interpret as a literal piece of text. So this parenthesis now is a literal parenthesis, not a piece of code. In regular expressions, parentheses are used to create groups, but we just want it to be read as a parenthesis. And then the slash S is code for white space or blank space, and it is followed by a question mark because I made that optional. And this is the entire code uh, explained as I did on the previous slide. You can pause here and take notes if you need to. And these are all of the different answers that would be marked correct. Here we see zero comma zero without any spaces. And I used an underscore just to say there would be a space here to make it clear. So the space can be before the leading zero, after the leading zero, before the trailing zero, after the trailing zero. There could be two spaces, one before and after the leading zero. And I'm just showing you all of the different um, permutations of spaces in the answer that exist. And all 16 of these would be marked as correct. So here's a different type of a question. It says, if you earn $15 per hour and you work 37 and a half hours in a week, then how much is your gross paycheck? And the answer is $562.50. And a student might put a dollar sign. They might not put a dollar sign. There might be a space between the dollar sign and the five. These are the different types of things I've encountered. And instead of me trying to think of all of the possibilities, I can use regular expressions to code the answer. And you see the code is down here. I'm going to show you it on a separate slide so we can look at it without everything around it. So again, the caret starts the regular expression. And here I'm using the parentheses as a group. So it's not printing the parentheses. There's no escape. There's no slash. And it's saying in this group, there's a symbol called a dollar sign. And the question mark says it may or may not be used. And that's fine. And after the dollar sign, there may be a space or there may not be. But the 5, 6, 2 are required. There's no slash there. This slash is to say the decimal point needs to be treated as a literal decimal point and not a piece of code. And then the five and zero have no slashes, so they're required. So that means a student cannot type 562.5 because we're talking about money. So the tens and the hundreds place is required in money. And then the dollar sign is to say this is the end of the regular expression. And once again, I have everything uh, with notes here. You can pause here, take notes. And this is how you can code a regular expression to accept a currency answer. And as you explore regular expressions, um, you can see that these are four different answers that would be accepted as correct now. 
that means a space between the dollar sign and a leading five or no space there, or if they should happen to type a space without a dollar sign or no space or no dollar sign, all of these would be marked as correct. If they left the trailing zero off, it would be marked incorrect. So this website, uh, it's regexr.com. So regex is regular expressions, and then R is this site for testing your regular expressions. If you want to test out all of the scenarios, you can go to this site and put your code in. So I have that site ready over here. And this is the default code they have there, but I'm going to grab my code from the slideshow, and I'm going to copy and paste it into there. So if we grab this code, we can test out different ways that we can enter answers. So there's my regular expression code, and I'm going to hit tests underneath here, and now I'm going to add a test. And I want to test dollar sign five six two point five. And we see that it still has a red X, but once I put that zero, it said up, oh, it would mark it correct now. Let's put a dollar sign space, 562.5. It's still wrong, but once I put that zero, even though there's a space between that dollar sign and that five, it's marking it correct. And I can add other tests, uh, 562.50 without a leading uh, dollar sign. And if I type the space and then 562.50, it would mark it correct. So that leading space, that slash S with a question mark, means that a space is optional before the five, and the question mark after the dollar sign means that the dollar sign is optional. And because I have no slash at the, uh, I'm sorry, no question mark after the zero, the final zero on the 50 cents is required to get credit. And just to show you what this looks like in Canvas, so I'm inside of one of my new quizzes. I'll hit build. And here are my three sample questions. So this first question, we see uh, if you earn $15 an hour for 37 and a half hours, what's your gross paycheck? We'll run the quiz. We'll see that it works in here. And if $1 is equally shared between four children, how much does each child get? So I did the same thing with money again with 25 cents. We can have a dollar sign before the 25 cents. We can have a zero before the 25 cents, but those are both optional. And what are the coordinates of the point of origin? That was the other one in the slideshow. So if we come up here to the top and hit preview, so 562.50, it would mark this as correct, even though I don't have a leading dollar sign because I made the dollar sign optional. If I take this zero off, it would mark it as incorrect. I'll put it on. Uh, if $1 is equally shared by four children, so I'll type this as 0 0.25, and uh, let's throw in the leading dollar sign. And then the coordinates of the point of origin, so I'm going to do parentheses, space, 0, space, comma, space, 0, space. So those are all those optional spaces I put in, and when I hit submit, I expect to get all three of these correct. And we see that all three are correct. So I'll exit this and I'll do this again. Now, if I wanted students to be able to, I clicked on the regular expression, and I'm going to put a dollar sign after that zero. If I wanted them to be able to type 562.5 without the uh, trailing zero, that question mark now made that zero optional, and I'll hit done, and I'll hit preview. And now that I added that question mark, I can type this as dollar sign 562.5 and it will be more correct because I added that question mark after that final zero and 25 cents let's type this as dollar sign space 0.25 I took the zero out from the front the zero I made optional so that will still be marked correct and then let's do the origin as zero comma and I'll put one space zero and I'll type it that way and the other blank spaces I left out, I had them before, but all three of these would be marked correct again. Okay. So there you go, and you can uh, go through this many different ways. Again, there's a website, regexr.
that you can put in your expression and then you would hit tests and you can type in tests uh, before you go coding it into Canvas. This lets you test many times. Instead of running the quiz through preview mode multiple times, this lets me test out all of my answers all on one screen. So I hope this helps. I think this is a very uh, powerful feature in the free response questions for the Canvas quizzes or the Canvas new quizzes, I should say. This way you can code uh, many different types of answers that students can put in and it'll mark it correct.